Hexaplegic Hamster here, and today I will show you how to install Counter-Strike Source Textures for Gary's Mod. This will remove all that pink checkerboarding from textures and make your game look better. You're going to head over to this site, fragboss.com slash css dash textures slash here I have accents screwing up my voice and you'll see this, CSS Textures Download it has all these marvelous things and click this if you want to make sure you don't click the wrong button make sure you have an ad blocker because I'm sure this site would have ads out the wazoo so now all this is downloading I already have the file so I'll cancel it make sure you click this button not this button not this button sometimes this button so you can you can destroy that web page and then go to your downloads and you'll see this this is a zipped file which means you can either use the Windows extraction tool which is terrible or you can use 7-zip use 7-zip extract files extract here you can do extract files you tell it where to go and then you hit OK I've already done this and it's right here so once it's extracted you can take this and you can launch it into the sun and go in here and you can see materials models particle script sound has everything except your happiness in life so copy the main folder copy and now you're going to navigate to your steam directory that probably sounds autistic and go here so whichever drive your steam is installed in this case it's on the hard drive so program files x86 steam steam apps common and then you're going to find Gary's mod in this case mine is right here and you'll see all this horrendous stuff and you're going to go under the file called Gary's mod add-ons and this is where all your Steam Workshop content goes. Whenever you click subscribe, it puts the files here. They're GMA files. And all you're going to do is click paste. Now, I've already done this, and it's just going to have an aneurysm if I do it again. And that's essentially it. Once you've pasted your CSS game content in here, you can see all the file folders are here. Then you're done. That's it. This isn't Fallout modding, this actually works. Well, I hope that helped and have a good one.